Um, you know, when I, when I come to this event here, when I see this room full of Pakistani physicians and people in the medical, uh, uh, the medical field and all the other leaders here, I am just inspired by pride to see the develop, development of the Pakistani community here in New York and uh, particularly in Long Island where there was a lack of organizations. Uh, to see this room here really fills me, fills me with pride. To see the leadership here, some of the young people also have risen who are now making a difference in my office. Uh, many of you know Afro Tabizi. I hired him years ago. He's a, he, he's a young man who <clears throat> cut, his, <clears throat> excuse me, cut his teeth in my office, but yet has gone on to impact policy that affects the Pakistani community throughout the country, and particularly in New York. I'd like to commend and, and ask everybody to really join me in a round of applause for two visionary leaders who are part of uh, this organization, and that is Dr. Dugar and uh, Dr. Uh, Igbat. So please, put your hands together, because it is their visionary work and their commitment to bring this organization to another level that is really having an impact on your community. You know, the past several years has really shown not only New York, but the entire country, the impact that Pakistani physicians have had. Throughout COVID, the, the, the amount of activism, the amount of, of work, charity work done by the Pakistani physicians, it was visible all over Long Island. They reached out to poor communities, to underserved communities, to underinsured communities, to help them with vital PPE, with, uh, with other medical needs, with vaccinations, many times out of their own pocket. And APNA was, uh, you know, did not fall behind in that. There are many other organizations as well. I know PACE, Pacoli, PASNI also joined, uh, joined in these efforts. But particularly, the Pakistani uh, physicians have stepped up to the plate in a way that is unprecedented. And you know, in this country, we need to acknowledge that. It is important that we acknowledge that and our, our, our country should respond to that. There is a need to increase the quotas for the amount of Pakistani physicians that come to this country because we have a void. They are needed here. And I, I, I propose to, to the Board of APNA that we should sit together and form a task force, an immigration task force, that we can now join you and we will go to Washington and realize that state elected officials, we have a lot of leverage in Washington because our districts are delivered for those elected officials who get elected at the, at the federal level. So we go there, we go there with a lot of power behind us to be able to push the envelope. And I, I, I would be proud to accompany a task force of physicians from AFNA to, to go to Washington to increase those quotas. Right now, only about 10% of those visas are given uh, to Pakistan, uh, Pakistani physicians. We need to increase that because in the end, it's not only helping Pakistani physicians. We have seen in the past two years how the impact of pa Pakistani physicians has helped our community. So it's a win-win situation uh, for, for both of us to be able to do that. So it's time to roll up our sleeves. I'm uh, proud to work with that uh, to make that happen. Again, I don't want to I don't, I don't want to add, thank you. I don't want to add to another long speech, but I, again, I want to express my pride.